You're listening to Wickedly Awesome. All right, here we go. Let's do this. All right, now. Hey, everybody. It is Sean Hakes here again. Yesterday, I ran across a website that at first glance looked pretty normal, but after a few minutes of review, I quickly realized that the site was infected with a pretty sloppy SEO link injection spam hack. In this video, I'm going to show you the steps I took to identify the hack, discuss how the site most likely got hacked, and finally, how to get back in Google's good graces. Let's get started. The domain name is caltermite.com. Before I dive into the hack itself, let's talk about this particular type of black hat SEO hack. First, this type of hack is incredibly common, especially with WordPress websites. When you fail to update core files, plugins, and theme files, you essentially are opening up the door for hackers. Many of these hackers leverage automation to first detect the vulnerability. After that, malicious scripts are injected throughout the site's file system. I've seen hacks like this that hide regenerative timed scripts that are hard to find and will essentially rehack the website even after you've detected all the malicious files, remove them, and patch the site. Back to caltermite.com. At first glance, the website looked pretty normal. The pages all seemed to work and the site loaded fine. The first red flag to me was about halfway down the homepage where the broken shortcode is present. Now, broken shortcode doesn't necessarily mean a site is hacked, but it does suggest problems and further investigation. The next step I took was to evaluate what Google had indexed. To do this, simply visit google.com and enter site, colon, and the domain name. In this case, it's caltermite.com. Ouch. Would you look at that? That's almost 40,000 foreign pages injected into caltermite.com. Now, I'm going to click on the first result and see what happens. Did you see that? To the layman, everything seems to work, right? So where could the foreign text be coming from? Let me show you. This type of hack leverages cloaking. Cloaking refers to the practice of presenting different content or URLs to a human user versus a search engine. In this case, humans will see the pest control website, while Google obviously sees something completely different. Now to see what Google sees is pretty simple. You wanna click on the little upside down arrow next to the domain name and select cached. This is the most recent page Google crawled and stored in its index. As you can see, it's not CalTermite, it's an SEO spam site called Hassan. Next, I wanted to see when the hack most likely occurred, so I pulled an SEM rush report to evaluate traffic trends. Now, I don't know this business, and I haven't had the opportunity to ask them probing questions, but it appears that the site has potentially been hacked not once, but twice. The first hack appears to have happened around August of 2020, repaired and then rehacked again in October of 2020 and has yet to be fixed. How can you ensure this doesn't happen to your WordPress website? Well, first, make sure all of your core files, plugins, and theme files are always up to date and remove unused plugins and themes. Adding additional security from someone like Securi isn't a bad idea as well. If this does happen to you, you'll definitely want to consult someone who has experience dealing with this type of hack. Otherwise, it could be an endless cycle and unfortunately can be disastrous for a business who relies on search engine traffic. After the hack is removed, you'll want to have all of the hacked pages de-indexed by Google and get the real content indexed again. I'm actually pretty surprised that Google hasn't removed this site from its index as of yet. Well, there you have it. Now you know how to identify a common SEO spam hack, and if you need help recovering and defending against one, you know someone who can help you out. If you thought this video content was helpful, please consider joining me on Patreon, where I'll be sharing regular how-to videos to help your digital marketing adventures be a little more fun. Join me today at Patreon at patreon.com forward slash wickedly awesome. Thanks for watching.